Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do the glass morphism or blurry background effect inside of Wix Studio. Let's go ahead and get started. If we take a look at this first section here, you can see that the glass morphism text here is surrounded by this blurry background effect. And also we have this little card design down here that the glass morphism or blurry background effect is applied to as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and build this section down below. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and we're gonna be building in this section right here. The first thing I want to do is apply a background image or even video, depending on what style you're going for. I think for now, I'm just gonna do an image and I'm just gonna type in abstract because typically you're gonna want something with like a lot of color or texture. That way the blurry background has something to blur. So maybe we'll choose something similar to this and we're gonna want to build like a car design on here. So what I'm going to do first is come down to the bottom into position and add 5% padding and apply that to all sides, just so we have something like this. Then for the background of the section, I just like to have a little parallax. So we'll go ahead and add that. And now we can start adding the elements to the section itself. The first thing I want to mention that for the card design, um, you can't really put an iframe or embed element inside of a repeater. So for this, we're actually gonna use something called a flex box. So if we go to add layout tools, we can see flex boxes right here. I'm gonna grab this column layout and I'm just going to stretch it. Fantastic. Now for each one of these flex box items, if we click on it and head on over to the design tab, I'm just gonna set the background color opacity to zero. That way it looks like it's invisible. And then what I want to do is go ahead and add a container inside of this item. We'll go ahead and stretch it and then we'll remove the background color. Perfect. Inside of this item, I want to add an iframe. So we'll go ahead and add this. Then we'll stretch that as well. Now for the code, if I select this iframe up here, you can see it's just a very, very simple code, which just so you know, I will have a link in the description to where you can just copy the code for yourself. And then I'm just gonna come over to this iframe and I'm just going to paste it in and press update. Just that easy. If I want to add items to this, all I'm gonna do is add another container. Make sure I attach it to this container here. We will stretch this and we'll also go ahead and apply maybe like a 10% margin and apply that to all sides. Then for the design, we'll make the background opacity zero. And inside this container, I'm just gonna add a simple title. We'll send it to the top left using the align tools. We'll set the width to be 100% width. We'll make the font size 10 pixels smaller and we'll change the color to white. I'm just gonna change the text to say glass morphism. Perfect. Additionally, I'm just gonna add a simple paragraph text, move it right underneath, set the width of this to be 100% as well. We'll change the text to white. Then we'll grab both of these items and stack these together. Fantastic. So now what I want to do is actually grab the item itself and I'm just gonna duplicate this two times, okay? And then I'm just going to easily delete the other two blank items. Perfect. So now what I want to do is grab the section itself. We'll remove the height. And if we go ahead and preview the website, here we'll be able to see the glass morphism effect easily built with Wix Studio and just a little bit of HTML code, more like CSS. But regardless, it's just a little bit of code and you can copy and paste it. But the cool thing about this code is if I select the iframe and press edit code, we can actually edit the design a little bit. If we want it to be a little bit more blurry, we can head on over to everywhere that says blur. So it's gonna be these three lines and maybe we want to set it to 40 pixels and we'll go ahead and press update. So you can see how this one is a little bit more blurry than these. Additionally, if you want to change the saturation, you could do that as well. So if I set that to zero, that makes the background color black and white. So you can see it still has that glass morphism, but it removes all of the color and completely makes it black and white. So you can see just by this little iframe code here, how easy it is to actually just adjust some of the settings to make something completely custom. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and reset this because I did like the way that it looked. 
prior and I want to match the other ones. But there you go. That's how you create a very simple glass morphism effect. You don't have to use it for just cards. You can use it for hero sections or use it anywhere on your website that you think it would look pretty nice. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's quick little video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.